So in this video, let's talk about where you can enter the single use code on your Android device. So let's get into it. Now, the way that it works is that it heavily depends on uh, the the place where you got the code from, right? So a lot of times this code is for confirming your identity. So apps and the services which use the two-factor authentication, meaning that it's not enough to just type in your password, but also you need to type in a, a one at a time or single use code from your SMS message, for example. And the way that it works is that usually right after the sign in page where you type in the email address and the password, for example, right after you go through it, another page should pop up with the uh, icon or, you know, the place to type in the one-time code. So usually whenever I'm signing into my iCloud account, right, the Apple account, and if I use the Android device, I just use a web browser, I go to iCloud.com, I sign in with everything right there, and before I can proceed, I need to type in the one-at-time verification code into the text field right there. The code is received on another device or it may be delivered through a SMS text message, right? But it is going to be right there. So you just need to look for that window, just return back to the original place where you sign in and you should be able to find it right there, right? So this is kind of how it works. As I said, it doesn't matter if you uh, just mm, get it the verification code for a banking app or for any kind of sign in usually you should get a uh, place right after you sign in th where you are supposed to type in that one-time code. So you might leave the app to go to the messages and copy it, but then you return back and then you'll be able to just paste it right there. So I hope that makes sense. As you can tell, it really varies by app, but essentially the general blueprint is exactly the same. So let me know below in the comments if there are some more thoughts or questions you might have about this particular topic. Subscribe for more guides and videos like this one, and I'll talk to you later.